사냥의 시간까지 얼마 남지 않았다. 이번 목표는 한때 동고동락했던 놈이라 신경 쓰이긴 하지만 어쨌든 내가 처리하는 방법 말고는 없으니 그레고르 놈한테 연락이 닿았나? Greetings and salutations, everyone. We're back to Valpurgis Knot. Another solo build set up. Um, I have done this one before, but then I realized what took me 42 minutes to show is actually not that complicated. So, we're going with the uh, Chief Butler Ryoshu this time. As usual, I'm going in with just mainly the base identities to show that anyone could do this nonsense. But there are two identities I want to draw attention to. First of all, Forced. If you have the Lobcore Remnant Forced, her passive is actually fantastic for this fight. The ally with the lowest max HP gains plus two defense skill power. That is very good because it mean because we're going to be getting a lot of lust resonances, and the plus two to her evades actually pretty important. The other potential is dicey association Honglu. If the target is staggered, is in a staggered or defeated state by an attack from one ally with the least SP, the ally heals 7 SP. This is also very important for certain strategies we're going to be relying on. Now for everyone else, you just want to bring in either things that increase your attack power or things that increase the de your poise count generation. So in a way, you could actually make an argument for Blade Linear Chi Seng because he gives out extra poise count and that's very nice for a character like this. Ryoshu herself, I do need to go into detail on for her ego. In fact, I'll do it via edit team so I can show them all at once. So first of all, her base Zayn, Forest of Flames, it's considered better than Soda in every way possible. But not here. We need to use Soda because Forest for Flames gives her Fatal to Gluttony, and Gluttony is the enemy's most favorite attack. Swapping over to Soda means that she can take a few hits, or rather she can take more hits than usual before going down. Although, she can take enough hits to stagger her anyway, putting Soda on her gives her extra time to respond. Red Eyes and Blind Obsession have basically the same sort of use. There are three way to Teth Ego <laughs> skill. So why would you pick Red Eyes over Blind Obsession? I'll give Blind Obsession its ability to gain poise count on crit with a pride skill. That's nice. But the enemies are resistant to pride in this fight and we want to deal a lot of damage. Meanwhile, they're weak to Lust, so we're actually going to be dealing a lot more damage with the standard Red Eyes attack. Now, why Red Eyes open over 4th match Flame? They're both slash attacks that deal weak damage, right? 4th match Flame... Hmm, I'd know, I, if memory serves, they're slightly less weak to Wrath than they are to Envy. This goes to about 37 coin power, and it has an, an offense level of 48. This goes to 37 as well. Just, uh, if there's one thing you must never do, that's use the overclock version of this attack. Aside from the, you might think, oh, th plus three attack power up. That's fantastic, right? You can't aim it. And getting 10 burn next turn, remember, you're going to be doubling that because you're the, uh, because you're the librarian of the Thor of history. It means that you're going to end up with something like 60 burn. That's enough to stagger you outright. 
I would rather just not. And red eyes to red eyes open it just has some nice synergy. But I will give this. It's a lot faster to earn fourth match flame than it is to get red eyes open. Now that we've gone through all that preamble. Hunting cutlery. So, this is... Hmm... Could be better, could be better. Technically, Ryoshu is also a good shot for getting the um, take less than five hits achievement. But she's a bit less reliable on her evades than Mola Ishmael is, and she takes a bit longer to get her clash power up and running. I think, although I could be wrong on that. We need to shut down Predation because that's the thing that can block her attack. The downside is that by using Soda, we no longer get resistance against the last attacks, but we shouldn't be letting those hit at all. Because she gets her SP back on an evade, she very quickly gets up to nearly guaranteed heads on that. But it can go wrong. Now then, um, you are 5 speed, I don't like that. We want to avoid using Receiving Arts Capture because it will become an AoE and that can cause enemies to stagger. The goal here is to get 3 kills in one turn. You can also go for the Preventer from Eating achievement, you don't have to, in which case you just start spamming your attacks however you want. But I want to be interesting. Shut down predation. The right arm is the one that we've already hit. Because of the last resonance, we have plus three, we have three offense levels, so this is a tie. Although, you wouldn't have thought that, would you? Okay, she's at four hunger, so she's going to mark everyone for meat. Now here's a thing that I usually don't get to see because I'm dealing with either underleveled identities or mirror dungeons. Specifically mirror dungeon hard. High offense level doesn't get a coin power bonus again. It doesn't get a base power bonus against uh, units using defensive skills. It gives it increased damage, but it doesn't give it increased chance of beating an evade skill. However, the reverse doesn't hold true. We've achieved absolute lust resonance, so now we get coin power bonus with the uh, lust evade skills. I don't know, I think that's kind of extremely useful to know.
Anyway, um... We need to be ready for next turn. The unfortunate thing about using the Red Eyes combo is that you need to reach 4 Envy in order to pull it off. Okay, the queen is very angry. There are two ways to go about this. One is ego spam, but another is a twa attack weight manipulation, so this is how it goes. It's going to prioritize hitting the... It's going to prioritize hitting things that we aren't already aiming at. This means that these three should hit these three guys at the front. If it doesn't hit do that, then we might be in trouble. But because they're all at the same health, it's going to deal the same damage each time. Meanwhile, over here... There's only a... oof. It would be quite nice if we had uh, some Wrath skills on hand to use against these. Oh well, you only live once. Except on this bus where you keep coming back from the dead. Now then, that's the way you can do it. Now let's do it the fun way. So, absolute last resonance here. Uh, actually, wait, no, no. Yeah, because we're getting absolute lust resonance, that's just enough power on our defense skill to avoid even a max roll reveling in hunger unless we min roll. Just stab everything. Red eyes open targets these guys, but we want red eyes normal to hit them first, so that's the one we line up as a clash. Now then. Oh dear, it's only open version. Hmm. So that's where having any sort of damage boosting passive comes in handy. It's 
specifically, okay, and I'm thinking this out in my head, either you get Daisy Hong Wu because that gives you an SP refund when you stagger them with the first hit, so you're more likely to roll heads on the second hit. But there's also, um... Uh, I'll just finish off the queen right now. Confirmed and The second tails roll definitely causes me some issues here and there.
전투응대 나선 감을 준비 꿈을 꾸러 가도 전투응대 나선 전투응대 나선 즉시 꿈을 꾸러 가도 so then, um, as you see, it's just barely out of range. The ego method, anyway, you can just use her skill too, but I don't know, I like the idea of using the ego to do it because you're taking her food for your own. So um, let's just jump over to here for a second and look at what we can do to improve our odds. So Lopcore Forced gives an increase to our defensive skill power. Enough of an increase that we can handle predation on turn 1 provided we keep flipping heads. It wouldn't be that simple though. In terms of Don Quixote, well... She's only giving out a pierce damage bonus, which isn't something that we're using here. I believe that... Yeah. This is what you'd use. You'd use divide in two because that gives out the extra slash damage. And they were so close to death, it would definitely be, be enough to make the extra jump. I don't think Mersault has that much to go for. Actually, no, no, no. Blade Lineage Mentor Mersault gives out extra damage on critical hit. So that would give us what we need because by that point you should be getting guaranteed crits. We covered Dicey Hong Lu, so no need to go into that. Um, I think Mersault is dealing the same damage no matter what. No, that's blunt damage. I don't think it's that simple to get Wrath Resonance on that turn, so... Mm. Yeah, I don't really have much to do with Mersault, I guess. Ishmael gives out counter power there, so that's not much use. Blunt damage... I forget what this one is. That's guard skill power, not good. Oh, actually, I do know what you could do. When ally with the highest poise gains two poison, two poise count when target is defeated after the unit's attack. Pride resonance is actually possible with her. You give out extra damage on heads coins, but that's not the problem. The problem is that we keep rolling tails. Kurokumo Rudian, on the other hand, would give us 10% slash damage no matter what, so that would actually help. Um, Sinclair? I believe that it considers the abnormalities to have zero SP, so you do actually get a damage bonus from this.
And uh, anyone else kind of escapes me. Plus one final power for the last skill is nice. But then you could also get faster CLI on evade gains haste. The only way you'd do this would be if you use an evade skill the same turn you use three of her skill two. But it would still be kind of funny to watch. Utis, as always, just go for the G-Corp manager. And Gregor. If anything, you could swap him over to RB Chef. So you can have access to his healing back up faster. I get the feeling that this... Yeah, that wouldn't be much use. Let's do it again. But this time with the just Dicey and uh, just Lob Core as backup. Because I do want to show um I want to show how crazy damage you can get, if only for a thumbnail. Intercept starved fluttering. We're still alive! Barely, but we are still alive. Plus 17 for all of our defensive skills. Even Predation can't outrule that. Still, the 17 is actually a little bit overkill, so... Let's see if we can get some of these bleed counts off. I think the fact that we've reached 8 bleed count means that we wouldn't be able to get the flawless... Um, the zero damage stuff. Well, oh, now we definitely aren't. I don't like how unlucky we got this time. Tuned 
Oh, she's eating that one. Well, I wasn't going to show off what the achievement this time. I wasn't intending to show it off this time anyway. I was just actually going for this. Being able to throw out a receiving arts capture early on would have been nice because then we'd have gotten a chance to get some haste so we could have a better odds of intercepting her attacks, but you can't win every time. She does have two strength on everything though, that's not good. I think we missed that. This, on the other hand, might actually hurt. There you go. So yeah, until next time guys, take care. We'll see you all around.
전투응대 나선 감을 준비 자, 맛볼 시간 지켜보고 있었지 전투응대 나선 물감을 준비하고 즉시 꿈을 꾸러 가도 전투응대는 성공적이었다. 나쁘지 않은 움직임이었어. 이제 다른 쪽 집안일로 돌아가지. 